Japanese rice wine, called Nihonshu or sake, has a long history. It developed over the years alongside Japan's rich food culture. On journeys in Japan, we visit Takayama, a city renowned for its high quality sake. The atmospheric traditional townscape has also made it popular with tourists. Charles Glover is an actor from the United States. Sake brewing begins in winter. Charles is visiting a local brewery to see what goes into sake making. Fantastic. He'll sample local delicacies served on cold winter days. Whoa, it's really cold outside. Oh. And he discovers Hot Spring Nirvana. Charles enjoys the best of what Takayama has to offer in the coldest season of the year. I'm Charles Clever. I'm in Takayama, a town situated in a valley where the temperatures are extreme. It's especially cold in winter, but there's so many fun things to do. Let's take a look, shall we? Charles, a longtime Japan resident, has traveled widely around the country. Takayama, which is located nearly at the center of the Japanese archipelago, is more than 90% mountainous. Its urban district is concentrated over a small level area. It snows here throughout the winter. Takayama was founded in the late 16th century. Old merchant shops dating back 130 years lined the streets. Wow, I feel like I've been transported back to the Edo period. These houses have been so carefully preserved. It's almost like a movie set, but people actually live in them. Local residents spearheaded legislation leading to the protection of historic architecture. Thanks to them, all new structures and renovation projects must adhere to a traditional format. What do we have here? Oh, it's the Asaichi, the morning market. This is held every day of the year, no days off. Let's take a look. The stalls carry produce harvested at nearby farms. Even in winter, there are lots of fruits and vegetables available. They're all handmade. She made everything here. These red kabu turnips are a Takayama specialty. They're often pickled in salt. Charles is invited to try some. Uh, 
味で美味しいですね。はい、うん、うん、美味しい。They're lightly seasoned, not 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 very sweet, mostly a light salt flavor to it. Very impressive. Oh, hey, do you know what that is? It's a sake bayashi. It's made from cedar trees. It's sort of a billboard put up outside of sake breweries, so you know what they're doing inside. A sake bayashi cedar leaf ball is hung under the eaves of a brewery to announce a new brew. The decoration also expresses gratitude to the deity of sake. Are key ingredients for sake brewing. Sake is sacred and is served on auspicious occasions such as New Year's and weddings. It's also enjoyed casually with meals. Here it is. Charles is on his way to one of Takayama's several sake breweries. This building's got some history, huh? Ooh, look at that. The city's breweries have competed over a long period of time to create distinctive styles. Excuse me, hello. May we come in? Amazing steam. Winter is the optimum season for producing sake because the cool weather keeps fermentation temperatures low. The complex brewing process involves a number of steps. First, the main ingredient rice is rinsed and then steamed for about an hour. After steaming, grains are hard outside and soft inside. Koji, a type of mold, is sprinkled onto the steamed rice. Koji converts the starch of the steamed rice into glucose. These are mixed thoroughly to evenly activate the mold.
workers cover the mix in linen sheets to aid fermentation. The mixture is cooled when the amount of koji mold has increased to the right degree. This is koji, a key ingredient that establishes final flavor. Charles gets a look inside a fermentation tank. May I come in there? Jama shite mo ii desu ka? Hai, dozo. Wow. Wow. Iya. Masahiko Ozaki is a toji, or head of the brewery, in charge of overseeing the entire process. Could you tell us what you're doing? Ima, nani wo shite ru desu ka? The tank holds koji, steamed rice, water, plus yeast. The delicate mixing enhances fermentation, which helps convert the sugar into alcohol. Ozaki can determine the degree of fermentation by the sound the mash makes. Sound is not the only sign. He takes in various elements to determine delicate changes in the fermenting mash from aroma to bubbles. The fermentation is monitored and controlled closely around the clock. After some 30 days of delicate care, sake is extracted from the mixture. Nama shibori or freshly pressed sake is only available in winter and at the brewery itself. Ooh. It's like champagne or wine. It really is wonderful. Truly uniquely distinctive taste. The Okuhira Hot Spring Village is about an hour from the city by bus. It has five hot spring resorts spread out over a wide area. We're in the middle of a massive valley surrounded by gigantic mountains everywhere. And all around you can see little puffs of steam, which means they're onsen. In fact, this is one of the largest onsen regions in Japan. Dreaming, 
Okuhira's abundance of hot springs fuels more than a hundred Rotembaro open-air baths. These baths attract hot spring lovers from both home and abroad for their gorgeous natural settings. The scenery is wonderful. It's so beautiful here, but I'm cold. <laughs> I need to find an onsen, and here I am. Oh, I'm ready for the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. This riverside bath looks out to the Hida mountain range. Visitors love the simplicity of this hot spring, where rustic beauty is the star and facilities are minimal. Whoa, it's really cold outside. Oh, it's really warm in here. This is my reward for trekking through all of this snow. My face is freezing cold, but my body is in heaven. It's so warm. Communing with nature, with fellow man. Such is the beauty of Japan's open air hot springs. Ah, it's so nice. It's 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 probably beautiful all year long, but I think winter's probably the best. I'll sample some local cuisine that goes perfectly with that impeccably brewed Takayama Osake. Oh wow, look at this. Very nice. Wide open space, counter, and an open kitchen. European style for sure. Guests sit at the long counter and observe the chef and his team as they prepare dishes featuring locally sourced ingredients. Head chef Tadashi Ihara creates dishes that go well with Takayama sake. I'd like some of that wonderful Takayama sake and to go with it, some cuisine that you recommend that would go with it just right. Hi, Hooba miso is a famous Takayama delicacy. Mmm, <laughs> ikori is there. Smells really, really nice. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Mmm. Very, very good. Oishi just now. Thank you. Green onions and shiitake mushrooms are grilled on a leaf of the Japanese magnolia called hooba. Ihara paired a sake for the hooba miso.
In case you didn't know, Japanese sake is served either cold or warm. And here it's nice and warm. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ooh, very smooth. And it really does go with the hoba miso. Hoba miso is very smooth. And the local flavor and the local flavor is hoba miso to mosu kaku to mosu. Now it's cold, so it's very good. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. Thank you very much. Ihara is preparing a round of high-quality Hida Wagyu beef. It is simply grilled, seasoned only with rock salt and pepper. Hi, I'm Oh, 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 <laughs> the beef is served medium rare to enhance its inherent flavor. Mm. Fantastic. The chef paired the beef with a chilled light sake. And it goes very well with a steak. Usually, though, it's difficult to get Japanese sake to complement beef. Hidagyu wa, ano, futsu wa abura nkun mo to wai o nihon shi wa awase ni kui mon desu kere domo. Shikaku tegi abura no suku nai, ano, momo niku o tsukatte gozaimasu. Dede, kono o sake o nomu koto ni yotte, kuchi no waka o sappari sa shite itaiku gozaimasu. Totemo o ishiku, niku mo, o sake mo, totemo o ishiku o meshi aga itaiku to tomoimasu. Ah, it really is delicious. Thank you so much. The next morning's itinerary involves taking in magnificent views. Charles will visit an observatory at more than 2,000 meters above sea level. Konnichiwa. Domo, ii desu ka? Ii kaishiki wa dochi? Kochi? Ushiro yu ne? Ii ne. Here we go. Pretty fast, faster than it looks. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Ooh. That is quite amazing. It really is different. Just a few seconds and already the, the views we're seeing are completely different. The ropeway operates daily, except during strong winds. Oh my gosh, look at the top of that mountain there. You know, if you didn't know any better, you'd think we were in Switzerland. It's fantastic. We definitely are in Japan. Far, far away, Charles can see the hot spring village where he stayed. Here we are. And it is cold. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it almost doesn't seem real. <sighs> they call this place the roof of Japan. 2,000. 156 meters. And I 
think it's right, don't you? A panoramic view of Hida's towering peaks of over 3,000 meters fans out around him. I've lived in Japan a long time. I've been in the mountains many times. I've never seen a view like this, really. Amazing, absolutely. The weather is mercurial here in winter. This clear view lasted only two hours. A place where history flows through its streets like the impeccable sake that's made there. Takayama. You can literally feel its natural beauty in its warm onsen waters. The more you look at it, the more you see. Come, see, feel, enjoy, and taste the best it has to offer. It's worth it. It takes about four hours from Tokyo to Takayama on the bullet train, with the transfer to an express line. To reach the Okuhita Hot Spring area, it takes about an hour by bus from central Takayama. For sightseeing around the city, walking and local buses are ideal. Restaurants serving local fare line the narrow streets. Six of Takeyama's sake breweries open their Kuda storehouses to the public from January to February every year. Volunteer guides lead free tours. Visitors can enjoy tasting unprocessed sake right from the tank. Some sake breweries operate restaurants where you can enjoy local specialties. Come